G'day everyone, welcome back to this week's video. It's been quite a while, so my apologies. You may remember in my last video, I said this. As I said before, we are expecting a change this morning and uh, usually preceding those changes, we get these amazing sunrises. But Well, a change in the weather system was definitely an understatement. And the last five to six weeks here on the east coast of Australia, we've been absolutely smashed by storms, wind, rain and flooding. Unfortunately, the flooding has been so bad in some of the major cities up and down the east coast that people have lost their lives, their livelihoods and their homes. The rain just continues on and on and on and there's no sign of it letting up. So I haven't been out shooting any sunrises or sunsets. But today I've come down to the coast here and it's about 10 o'clock in the morning so we're not going to get any beautiful light. But the main focus today is shooting some wave action. On the east coast at the moment we're currently being pummeled by a swell that's upwards of 6 to 7 metres. So, and my plan is to go down on the headland here and not get too close to the surf action. But get some shots of the waves. I'll do some handhelds and maybe a couple on the tripod and try and capture some of this dramatic sky. So. I can't promise the sound quality will be any good because we've also got a 40 kilometre an hour wind blowing behind me. I'm going to get out of the car now, head down and try and capture some of this wave action so I'll bring you along with me. Just making my way down to the coastline now and I've got to be really careful. We're down on the beach uh, shooting this swell but the idea is that I'm, there's an actual cliff face here where the waves come in and crash up against it so I'm going to try and get a couple of shots of the waves that they impact against the coastline and see if I can grab a shot of that and try and freeze the action. It's going to be really interesting as you can see the sea is right today and it's almost a good of the entire beach so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move up this way and try and keep myself up nice and high main priority today is safety and keep myself on the gear safe because there's some of these rogue waves are coming in and crashing against the coastline and washing right up the beach so there's no way in the world I'm going to go down close but my aim is to try and get a shot of the 100 to 400 telephoto lens no light around today at all just a, a slate grey sky but a great opportunity to try and come out and capture some of these waves impacting on the coastline So I've got myself set up here with a 100 to 400 GM lens and I'm about 100 mil at the moment so I'm not zoomed in too tight. It's just a matter now of waiting for these waves to impact with the coastline here. I'm going to select the different varying shutter speeds and try and see which one works the best. A really angry sea and um, just something different to do. Obviously there hasn't been any light around for quite some time so i to come down here today and capture a couple of shots of the, this angry sea that we've got. It's uh, just a nice change from some of my normal landscape photography. As with everything, it's all about timing and I'm just waiting to get the right way. What I'm looking for is trying to use the left hand side of the headland coming out into the frame and then one of these large waves impacting with it and then getting some of this swell flying up high into the, the sky. But it's not as easy as it looks, so I've tried a couple of shots already trying to get that timing correct so I just get that impact right at the right point. Um, I'm shooting at about 1 over 1000 and I'm currently at f8 and my ISO is 100 and the histogram seems pretty well balanced at the moment so it's just a matter of waiting for a bit more swell to come in and then firing some more shots. It's really interesting here today I'm actually finding that it's having much more success shooting handheld than trying to shoot off the tripod I can find that by shooting handheld I can activate the shutter at the right time and uh, get capture those moments of impact but really boiling swell now I'm gonna to try to put you guys down and try and get a couple of this one Wow It was at this stage I realised the microphone on my camera had stopped working. 
I turned and looked towards the south towards Terrigal headland and saw a massive swell coming. I quickly zoomed in to 400mm and handheld using the 100-400 GM lens. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. Well that has been a lot of fun. You could easily fill up a memory card here just sitting here photographing these waves all day. Just absolutely spectacular and I don't know whether this video or my shots will do this surf any justice but it is quite large and just like a washing machine down here this morning debris everywhere all over the beach but something totally different for me and uh, to get out and shoot some waves I don't get a lot of opportunity to do that although I've been near the coast and do a lot of seascape photography we don't get a lot of large swells like this along the east coast so when we do it's always great to come out and grab a couple of images especially using the 100 to 400 in a telephoto i'm going to grab a couple more images and then i'll call it quick. just about to pack up and head home and now we've got some beautiful light and some really large swell coming in so i'm going to hang around grab a couple more images here of the coastline i'm just continually firing shot after shot i'm actually back on the tripod now and i've zoomed in and i'm just actually activating the shutter by my hand but um, yeah, it's just what a spectacular sight. Big set of waves rolling in at the moment here, just engulfed the entire headland there in white water. And I've actually shot a vlog down here many years ago at Spoon Bay on the rock platform. But I certainly wouldn't want to be down there today. We've got a massive set of swell coming in here now, so I'm going to try and capture these ones. It's hard to contemplate how big this swell it is, but uh, it's got to be over four to five metres. Probably one of the biggest East Coast lows we've had along here for a long, long time. But I've really enjoyed this this morning, using the telephoto and getting out and shooting some of this wave action. Well guys, that's it for this week's video. Let me know what you think of the images in the comments down below. If you haven't already done so, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next videos. Hopefully I'll be around shooting some more landscapes soon. I'll see you then.